The Prox Grand Chameleon is an amazing thing, but what happens if you need to work with low frequency cards? What then? Perhaps you need a Keezy. The Keezy was a product born out of Kickstarter in 2018. Though I must admit to my chagrin, I didn't buy one then and I paid full price for mine. But in the intro, I likened it to the Chameleon Tiny, but to be clear, it isn't in the same league. Whilst the Chameleon allows you to manipulate the data in many complex ways and allow you to retrieve cars later, the Keezy can be seen as a much better version of the Chinese made sort of blue or the other ones are white, low frequency RFID copiers. With one important feature, it in itself can act as a key for up to four RFID tokens. The other major point is whilst the Chameleon only works on high frequency cards, the Keezy works only on 125 kilohertz low frequency cards. It also differs in one other critical functionality in that it tends to actually work. The Chinese blue or white RFID copy guns like this one tend to be a bit hit and miss. When they work, they work beautifully. And when they don't, you're left scratching your head as to what went wrong. In my experience, the Keezy is much more reliable in inquiring and replicating most low frequency cards. Please note that this, like all my videos, isn't sponsored. I paid for everything you can see in front and behind the camera, but I do like my Keezy and it's a useful tool to have in the arsenal. One last thing to clarify, this isn't a tool that's targeted at Infoset professionals at all, but at the ordinary user who just doesn't want to have lots of RFID tags and dongles lurking around. So let's get over what it can do. Well, in the main mode, you can copy up to four low frequency RFID tags onto the buttons on the device itself. And this is probably the main thing that most purchasers will use it for. However, you can also use it as a mobile copy station. That is, it can write other tags, allowing you to not only copy to the token to the device, but also generate other copies. Now, Keezy does sell these rather natty branded tokens, which are really well built physically, and they work wonderfully electronically, but you can also just use cheap eBay tags if you need to. Now, let's do a quick demo just to show you what I've been talking about. So I'm not going to go into this too much. This is my standard low frequency RFID copy station. The first one I made, hence the really dodgy sawing. Um, it's got a power supply, an unlock button. This is a, uh, meant to be, it's a, a door latch. So when it's locked, it doesn't unlock. So you wouldn't be able to unlock the door. And when it um, unlocks, if I can use that one, it unlocks and then you would be able to unlock. Uh, a key that, if you do a key that doesn't work, you get a beep, 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 beep. So therefore we know it's all working. So if we wanted to unlock with the standard tag, I just showed you that. If we wanted to copy that to a, the keysys, if we imagine, if you press one of the buttons and trying it to unlock, notice it doesn't unlock. If I take the real tag, press and hold for five seconds, you will see it will start to flash in a second. As it acquires it, there we are. There we are. It sort of flashes a couple of times, then it goes green. And if we wave that now, you notice that now unlocks. That key sys now has the ability, just as quick as that, it's now copied this particular thing. Um, the other thing you can do, which is really, really good, is it can act like one of these Chinese uh, things. So imagine if we were to go over here and we were to go, let's just turn it on and off again. If we were to go read and then Right, we can now unlock with that particular card. Now, if we take the keysys, what we do is we, uh, we've already got programmed onto the bottom button. We go over here, we go one, two, three, four, five, wait a couple of seconds. It then starts to flash. And then the green light comes on. And then if you notice, that now unlocks. So I've now programmed I, I copied it onto there, unlocked it, and then from there I put a program onto there. It's a really, really simple device. Yeah, these are quite useful. These are really, really, really cheap, but when they don't work, they don't work really well. These things kind of work most of the time and they work with a wider range of tags. So that's about it. It's a simple device that for what it's designed to do, it works very well. If there was gonna be a Keezy V2, what would I like to see? Well, Bluetooth and an app would be very handy, or a USB port and the ability to dump tags, 
and a rechargeable battery. But let's be clear, it's half the price, or less depending on when you shop, than a Chameleon Tiny, so you get what you pay for. And links to the places that sell the Keezy will be in the description below. So that's about it. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you find this video useful, please share it on your social media channels. Until next time, have fun, play safely, and don't break the law.